drawn a lot of attention in recent days at, as it is expected to transform not just the local economy but that of the entire region. Now tonight on Who Owns Kenya we focus on China Road and Bridge Corporation. This is the company that was awarded the 1.2 trillion shilling standard gauge railway project. Now the standard gauge railway project is a joint project between Kenya and her East African neighbors Uganda and Rwanda. The railway line will stretch 2,937 kilometers, that's just under 3,000 kilometers from the port of Mombasa through Nairobi to Kampala in Uganda and terminate in the Rwandan capital of Kigali. Now during the launch of the project last Thursday, President Uhuru Kenyatta revealed that the line will also be extended to Tanzania through Taita Taveta to the port of Dar es Salaam with plans to extend the line to South Sudan through Gulu in Uganda. Massive. Now this project will transform both passenger and cargo transport with the trains set to be powered by diesel electric engines attaining speeds of up to 120 kilometers per hour for passengers and 80 kilometers per hour for cargo. The train will have the capacity to ferry 960 passengers bridging the time taken to travel between Nairobi and uh, Mombasa from the current 12 hours to three and a half hours with four daily return trips between the two cities. Now cargo transport is also set to become much easier with the rail holding the capacity to ferry 4,000 tons of cargo against the current 1,000 tons in seven hours from Mombasa to Nairobi. The increased ability will also bring down the cost of transport by a staggering 75%. So the big question, who owns China Road, Road and Bridge Corporation? And what other projects have been awarded to this company? Now, the China Road and Bridge Corporation is a fully owned subsidiary of the China Communications Construction Company Limited, a state-owned corporation that uh, runs China's major investment and construction projects. The China Road and Bridge Corporation holds two other major contracts in the country, including the construction of the Southern Bypass at an estimated cost of 2.6 billion shillings. Through its parent company, China Communications Construction Company Limited, the company will also be involved in the 41 billion shilling LAPSET project, which was awarded to China Communications Construction Company Limited. Now, China Road and Bridge Corporation also holds a 5.7 billion shilling port restoration contract at the port of Mombasa. The company is, however, not without controversy, with the World Bank having imposed an eight-year ban on the company's participation in World Bank subsidized construction projects after it was accused of allegedly colluding with officials to win a bid for the road development project in the Philippines. So who owns the China Road and Bridge Corporation? The company has been ex in existence since the 1950s, undertaking major construction projects under the Foreign Aid Office of the Ministry of Communications of China. The company's net assets currently stand at 59.1 billion shillings. The company was officially entered into the international construction business. Uh, in, it entered into the international construction business in 1979 and was restructured into a wholly owned subsidiary of the China Communications Construction Company Limited in 2005. Now, the China Communications Construction Company Limited, which was a fully run and owned state corporation, was listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange in 2006, changing the dynamics of the company's ownership with the entry of private investors. Among the most prominent of its shareholders is Saudi Prince. Al Walid bin Talal Al Saud, whose personal wealth is estimated at close to 30 billion US dollars, that translates into about 2.6 trillion Kenya shillings. Also on the list of notable billionaires with interest in the company is Lee Kashing, who was named Asia's richest man with a total net worth of 31 billion dollars, that's just over 2.7 trillion shillings. Another billionaire with interest in the company's Malaysian tycoon, Robert Kuok, whose personal
personal net worth is estimated at 12.5 billion dollars that's just over 1 trillion shillings and the final prominent Asian business magnet associated with the company is Hong Kong real estate tycoon Joseph Lau whose personal net worth is estimated at 7 billion dollars or just over 602 billion shillings now the standard gauge railway line is set to be complete in 2018 with the Nairobi Mombasa railway expected to commence operations in 2016 that's just two years from now with that let's take a look at our quote of the week and it reads chase the vision not the money the money will end up following you <laughs>